the most important thing to do with the transfer of an Amazon business is to communicate with Amazon. Okay, because if you just start changing the account holder's email address and the account holder's mobile phone number, blah, 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 then Amazon is going to rightly assume that somebody's hacked your account and is just trying to take it over. Okay, so you don't want to do that. You've got to communicate. So two people should communicate, the buyer and the seller, both communicate with Amazon, say, hey, uh, this particular person has acquired my e-commerce business. This will be, so as a seller, you would say this, this will be their new mobile phone number. This will be their new email address. This will be their new, so you just tell them all of the business details in an email, okay? And you could just do that through seller support, doesn't need to be anywhere else, super easy. And then once they have said, okay, no problems, then you go about their account transfer process. So you got to do that first though, Otherwise, Amazon's going to think that there's some shenanigans going on. And it's pretty easy after that. Once you've got that, then it's just updating all of the contact info. What has probably already happened is that you would have put the um, new acquirer on as a user of the business uh, in some way, shape, or form so that they can go in and suss out the business part of their own due diligence process. Typically, the acquirer will want to see your Amazon account and make sure that everything's legit. Uh, so they ought to be already in there as a user in some way, shape or form, which is cool. Uh, you want to obviously trans change over the bank accounts where your money's getting deposited, depending on how you've structured the sale, uh, that could be important. And email addresses, mobile phones, contact information, credit card details held on file, all of those, that kind of core cool stuff should get transferred over at that point. A uh, little word over and above that is what I typically do is that for the sales structure is 50% down. So they get full access at 50% down when they've given you 50%. That's when you give them full access. But you also want to stay on the account uh, as an admin user. And that's usually written into the contracts anyway, you know, to do that. But you want to make sure that it is in the contract. So you stay in the account 30 days. And then once everybody's happy, then the remaining 50% is released to you. And you use an escrow service for that. So there's no shenanigans just to make sure that the money's in there and you're going to get paid. The acquirer of the business is going to be happy with that kind of arrangement too. Okay. And then after 30 days or however long your workout period is, um, then you remove yourself completely from the account or the new acquirer would have to do that, of course. They remove you completely from the account and then it's their account free and clear, okay? Pretty simple as it happens. The more complex ones is the social media side of things. To transfer social media accounts over is still insanely painful given the necessity of social media for businesses in this day and age. So... Start with the basics to transfer that over. It's much, much easier if you have set things up properly. What the fuck does that mean? Well, what it means is you've used a, uh, you haven't used a personal email address. Um, you've used actually a company email address, a link to the company domain name, okay? If you've done that simple thing, just that, will make your life so much easier because then it's just a case of, transferring over the email domain uh, than anything else. Okay, that makes that element of it, which is the main thing for social media, much, much easier. But if you haven't done that, again, you've got to communicate with these companies, Facebook or Instagram or whatever it may be, um, but don't expect a response because Facebook's customer service makes Amazon's customer service look world-class. Like it is dire, you will not get a response, but at least it's there, at least there's something what's been formulated, okay? So do that, and then you've got to start the process of transferring over, and you do that through the business admin area 
of Facebook or Instagram or whatever particular account you're talking about. And it's the same process again. So depending on what you've been doing in those accounts, if you've just been posting updates on a business page, it's much, much easier. But if you've been running paid traffic, uh, it's a little bit more complicated because then you've got credit cards to change over. You'll typically have um, uh, a registered address that's been checked out by Google or Facebook using one of the postcards. That's got to be changed over and they'll need to re-verify the address. So it's a little bit more complicated because of that. Um, and so allow yourself more time to do it. It will take at least 45 days to make that transfer. And for that, and and you should absolutely expect at some point those accounts to get um, flagged, red flagged, and warning bells get, get sounded, okay? Even though you've done the right thing, you should absolutely expect that to happen. So kind of work that into your timeline as well. And then the associated shenanigans with communicating with them. Well, I did tell you we're changing over. Now I'm just changing it over. The business has been acquired, et cetera, et cetera. It's nowhere near as good a setup as, um, as Amazon. And that's why it's important. Ducks in a row, that's going to make things much, much easier. Okay. And again, depending on how you structure the sale, uh, if they're just acquiring the intellectual property, the assets of the business rather than acquiring the um, the shares of the business. Um, it makes things much more difficult. Like if they do a full acquisition where they buy the shares and then really it's just pretty simple then from, from your point of view, but that's not typically what most acquirers want because they don't want to acquire the debts or potential debts of the business. They just want the assets of the business, okay? That was a video from my regular Monday night session with the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. We are a community of e-commerce professionals uh, right around the world making sales on Amazon, on eBay, on Shopify, all sorts of different places um, with sales by the way of over 50 million dollars there's two and a half thousand members and growing we're actually the fastest growing community of e-commerce professionals uh, in Australia right now if you'd like to find out more about what we do and also come and join us of course then get yourself off to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au the link for that is in the description and I will see you next time Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.